but it's gonna be way better. You just gotta wait. I gotta build it. The egg drop container is restricted to no more than 20 centimeters in length, width, or height, with minimal or non-traditional padding. The hope is to encourage students to avoid just bringing a box padded with styrofoam or newspapers. You can accomplish this by making a type of suspension system to hold the egg within the container. Dropping the container, the suspension acts as a shock absorber, taking the force of impact, allowing the egg to bounce in its suspended system. Well, I was thinking of like a hot air balloon style. I'm, I'm missing a side here. There's nothing to really, it kind of leans. So. Okay, and Quentin, I know you put a lot into your project today, so tell me a little bit about what uh, you did. Well, you put I brought a name brand Jif peanut butter, and what I'm hoping it will do is I will open the lid, I will put it in there, and I'm hoping when it hits the ground, the peanut butter will move around first, so it can be a little patty, and it won't crack. Like I made a box with straw, so if it bounces up, it would roll down, because I made it like kind of curvy, so it would roll. I made a box. Um, it was supposed to look better than this, but I got lazy, and you know, and so it's got straws in here, napkins and stuff, and then on the inside, it's like a little pouch to hold the egg, so if it won't like roll around and break. Well, I made a wooden box with like a hammock in there with the top hammock, and uh, my if, if it flips over, the egg will still sit. We'll still stay in the hammock. I made a hobo shack. A hobo shack? Uh, I basically just put a hammock in the little room with some some padding down there. Mine's made out of straws. Um, I don't really know how to what you call it. And then I have fabric in the middle with rubber bands attaching it. So yeah. I just put it in like little Shoot. bands and then like this little thing that so it fits down last supper inside there. It's made out of popsicle sticks with fabric. So when it bounces, a little plastic egg as a holder and a parachute. Olivia's got a tough work contraption going on here. Yep, and duct tape and water and it's duct tape water and Tupperware. Okay, what's your idea about the water? What's it gonna do? It's gonna, I think because it's um, the pressure, like if it was to hit something else and hit the water instead of the floor first. Okay. You know. What do you call procrastination? It's really bad. And Billy's inside of there right now. Hopefully he survives. What's inside the cups besides Billy? Straws. Straws, okay. And, and a napkin. <laughs> hey, how, how you feeling about uh, Billy's chances today? Um, I think he's a strong guy. I think he can make it. You think he can, even though you procrastinated? Yeah. Your procrastination could cost Billy his life. Well, I'm sorry, how Billy, if you see this video. <laughs> it's just sticks, you know, in a cube. Yeah. Okay, so what's your idea behind your contraption? What is? How's that going to save your, your egg today? This is going to land on the ground, and this is going to support it up to the side. Well, my thoughts are, it's kind of squishy, bouncy, so the effect is it's going to bounce up, and it's not going to hit the ground, and go, whoop, whoop. it's going to be like that. And then, its name is Marvin. Okay. Is, is Marvin going to survive? Yes, hopefully. I was praying today and I yeah. think Larry will survive because he's very, very protected. See? Because this egg is going to survive. I predicted happened. 
It was leaning too much to the side. Well, mine flipped, and as you can tell, that happened. Oh, what do you know? It's crap. Well, mine didn't, like, didn't go how it's supposed to. It, it flipped over yeah. because there was no weight on top. Go. Hey, you can always go higher. catapult requires a base and upright post. The swing arm will pivot on the post as a fulcrum attaching rubber bands or elastic material provides a resistance to the swing arm while adding a cup at the opposite end provides a place for the marshmallow. This is the effort end where the force is applied to bring the arm down. This would be a second class lever. A stop bar is necessary to quickly stop the swing arm to propel the marshmallow. This proves Newton's first law. An object in motion will continue in motion and in a straight line. The reason the marshmallow curves along the path upon its release is due to the downward force of gravity. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of outline um, the expectation today, kind of what we're doing. So everybody's catapult needs to be lined up on the black line like you all pretty much have, not in front of it, but behind it. So go ahead and get it lined up. Um, you guys will shoot one at a time, and we're going to go ahead and measure those out and see how far you go. Uh, the way the grades go is the highest or the furthest launched marshmallow will actually get the 100 for their uh, grade. And then it starts working its way backwards. So we'll just start working way, you know, who gets second, third, fourth, just the grade starts coming off that way. So uh, we'll go ahead and try these out. You get three shots. So um, out of your three trials, we're going to go with the furthest marshmallow launch, okay? Uh, normally we're going to measure in meters, but because I did not bring a meter uh, tape, it's going to be difficult unless we do conversions. So we're going to go ahead and go with feet today, and we'll just measure it all out in feet. So if it goes 
uh, 13 feet, 12 in or 13 feet, 11 inches. That's what we'll put down, and uh, we'll just kind of go that route. Okay. Feet? 13 feet 7 inches. Oh, 13 feet 13 7, okay. Not bad. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes! Wow! think about your catapult today? Well, my catapult, I think it did pretty good. Um, it went about 250 feet, did 10 times better than Brennan, so. Uh, that's cut. Cool. No, okay, like, let's go from the real one, not this one that's oh, not well, really yours. That one, it was yeah. like, this is like a scale model of mine, about 15 times smaller than it was, so. Yeah, so what was your longest distance? Like 12 feet. 12 feet. 20, 20 feet, yeah. Okay, very good. Horrible. I like wanted to cry. How's your catapult? I think it was good. How went far well. did yours go? 33. Yeah, pretty sweet. How's your catapult? It broke, but you know I recovered strong. That's <laughs> all that matters. I like that. It's how, you, fin it's, it's how you finish, right? <laughs> A mousetrap car can be made beginning with two pieces of wood to make the frame. Drilling holes and adding dowel rods for axles, you must ensure that they move freely. We will add the wheels in a moment. Secure the mousetrap to the frame with glue or finishing nails. Set the trap and add a piece of string to the wire lever. The other end of the string needs to be secured to the center of the back axle. Winding the axle clockwise will allow the potential energy in the trap to be transferred as mechanical energy to the axle when released. Now adding the wheels, it just takes the release of the trap to get your car moving. Go. Go.
What, what about your car? Well, it didn't work. At all? At all. I mean, the first one was like a foot and 13, well, okay, the third one was like 13 feet. But yeah, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna fail in class. I'm gonna summer school. The first one went backwards, actually. And so. <laughs> That's operator error. You wound operator. your tires backwards. Okay. How'd you feel about yours? I got an A, because mine went 20. Right at 20, awesome. How do you feel about yours? Good, I got an A, I think. <laughs> Calvin, how'd you feel about your car? Not good since I lost. Really? I mean, overall you did pretty good, I thought. Hannah, I'm chasing you down. Okay, yeah, you got... I'm proud of myself. Okay, why well, it goes in the trash can, oh, seriously? No, no. Okay. All right, I'll strap car, dude. How'd you feel? It did pretty good. I didn't think it was going to go that far. How far did you go? 20, was it? 2010. So you got an A then? Yeah. Yeah, you pretty excited about that? Yeah. Oh, All right, good job. My mouse trap was a fail, but I recovered. I was, you know those peanuts, those peanuts container where you eat it? Well, <laughs> silly me, you're supposed to put the screwdriver, you're supposed to heat it and then screw it in, but then I put it over it and then it was like, and it melted. Gotcha. Yeah, that day.